We continue our conversation now with Senator Vingold Powell of Monmouth County. Thank you so much again for being here. As you go through what's happened in, in Governor Murphy's administration, he's gotten a lot of what he wanted to get. Uh, he's, he ran on a pretty progressive policy, and he ran on raising taxes, and he certainly has raised taxes. He ran on getting legalized marijuana. He's gotten legalized marijuana. So he's been a success? I think he's, uh, he's done a good job. Uh, we don't have the legalized marijuana yet, but we're on track to have that. He got the women's health care funding. Uh, he got the uh, paid sick leave. Uh, he's got pay equity. He got a lot of things accomplished uh, that I think uh, Democrats were happy to work with him, even a number of Republicans were. He had some headwinds, though. I mean, he definitely mm -hmm. had headwinds, and he was able to overcome them. So it, it's funny because he seems to be criticized a lot in, in the newspapers, mm -hmm. especially for raising taxes. But he certainly ran on this, mm -hmm. and it's almost like he's checking it off and he's mm -hmm. getting these things done. I think the, the governor is uh, uh, governing how he campaigned, without a doubt. I agree with you. Amazon, did we ever really have a chance? I think so. I think we were competitive, and uh, um, I think it's still good, even though we didn't get it. Hopefully it opens up other economic opportunities, just the fact that we got that far. Good for the city of Newark, uh, good for the state of New Jersey. Um, and, you know, we have, to, we have to improve our business climate here. We have to get our, a better skilled workforce. When you don't get something, it's just as important to find out why you didn't get mm -hmm. it. Do we know why? Was it the business climate? H have we asked that question? Uh, I don't know. Uh, that would be a question uh, to the mayor of Newark. Uh, but I can tell you that uh, it is my understanding well, the that... the state was involved. The state was involved, right, uh, and, and the administration was involved. But uh, it is my understanding that workforce was a, a big reason. And, uh, you know, obviously, look, New Jersey is is 50 out of 50 in a lot of categories when it comes to, to taxes and regulation. New Jersey is infamously known for, for over-regulation uh, and, and over-government. And so there's a lot of factors uh, that we, got to, we have to address. Uh, New Jersey continues to have some of the highest taxes, and, and Monmouth County has the 11th highest property taxes in the entire country. Um, that's astron astronomical. Let, let's, let's go to consolidation now, mm -hmm. because this is your issue, and almost every time we talk, we talk about it, and nothing really has been done. It's only been eight it. months. I get it. Right. I'm not blaming you. I'm just saying that nothing's been done, because yeah. there's a lot of pushback on it. Sure. There is a lot of pushback on it, especially from local communities. If it were to happen, what do you see? Sure. How, if you had the perfect world, how would it happen? So, look, and by no means did anyone uh, think this was going to be easy. This is going to be a long-term project. Uh, but without a doubt, we have to start with schools. And that is where the biggest bulk of savings, and that's what the Senate President's bipartisan economic plan uh, showed, is a proposal on school district consolidation. Uh, not just for the, the money we're going to save taxpayers, not just for the efficiency, but also for students' quality of education. Right now, when you have a high school and an elementary school in different school districts, they don't even coordinate curriculums. Uh, so they graduate from the eighth grade, and there is no coordination with that high school if they're in a different district. We have K to eights, uh, K to sixes, uh, and they're in totally different worlds than a K to twelve. Some districts having one, others three. So I believe uh, every child will be able to keep their classroom. Uh, instead of having a superintendent at that school, they'll have a principal or a vice principal, and we can take those costs at the top uh, and really start saving some. Will, big will money. there be jobs lost with that? Uh, I think we have to do things in a uh, process of attrition and as humanely as possible. And I think if we do this the right way, the only position that will be lost will be contracted positions, not employees. Who, uh, what school district are we talking about? I'd like to see all of New Jersey's 600 school districts. We need to be... Uh, Everyone would consolidate. I'd like to see them all consolidate. In, 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 you know, I think an ideal school district should have at least three schools. I don't think that's unreasonable. I think we have a, they're in the Senate pres president's proposal, it's to go from 600 districts down to roughly about 330, 340, give or take. Uh, and this has to be done in a partnership at the ground level, talking to members in the community, talking to teachers, talking to parents, making sure they understand that their quality of education for their child, which New Jersey is, is great and we have wonderful teachers, is not going to change. But the fat at the top is going to change. So when one K-8 to district is negotiating for 30 health care employees and there's one across the street negotiating for 200, they should come together and negotiate for 230. Same thing with their snow removal contracts, same thing with how they're buying their paper and pens, same thing with all of this stuff that we do in our households that they're not doing right now because everybody has their own local fiefdom. 
And you know what? It's not going to be popular in some areas. There are going to be people that are going to fight for home rule to the end, but it's not the right thing to do for the state. It's not the right thing for our taxpayers. How much money would it save? In the studies have shown in the, in the Senate President's plan, we have the ability to save billions of dollars. I mean, there's a lot of money at stake if this is done the right way. So what the Senate President's plan is calling for is a pilot in two areas. It's going to call for a pilot for a regional school district, which has not been named yet, and for a countywide district, which has not been named yet. So you start with school districts. Do you move on from there after you do the school districts? Absolutely. We should be looking at authorities. We should be looking at agencies. We should be looking at some towns. Uh, two years back, Jersey City merged their parking authority with their police department. They saved $4 million on their budget. Um, there are real opportunities, but it has to be done at the ground level. It has to be done in communication uh, with those that represent. And as often as possible, I want to see things put on the ballot locally, too. Uh, and the state needs to be there to give financial incentives. Because when you have two agencies merging, you're going to have a winner and a loser. And that's the problem. That's why the state needs to come in and make it an even playing field. It might cost us a little bit more money up front, but the idea is down the road. Uh, I have a legislation on merging uh, uh, dispatches, 911 dispatches, uh, as well as uh, municipal health offices with the county. Right now, a lot of towns have their own health departments. The county is more than capable of doing that. We have individual dispatch. While that may have been necessary years ago, uh, we have GPS, we have technology now, we should look towards a county dispatch. Uh, I've been working with the Monmouth County Sheriff who, who's even agreed to hire some of the dispatchers uh, at the local level. So uh, in that situation, what the legislation we introduced does, the state would loan a town the money up front to buy all the dispatch equipment and the town would pay them back uh, over a number of years. And if this were to happen across the state, not just in Monmouth County, if it were to happen across the state, that's yep. a significant savings? Correct. And, and just this past week, the governor signed into legislation that I sponsored with several others uh, on a shared service pilot program, which starts with two counties, Monmouth and Atlantic counties, uh, which is going to look at CFOs, uh, clerks, a whole variety of municipal services uh, that we can start sharing uh, that are now allow us to go beyond, you know, home rule allows, you know, one contract to be in one place and that they have trouble between towns. This will hopefully... Uh, uh, clean that up, and I'm very grateful for the governor to sign that into law. It's the first major shared service bill that he signed in. Well, see, you're getting there. It's only been eight months, but you're getting there. Slow Thank steady. you. Thank I you appreciate so much. you coming in. Senator Vin Gopal of the 11th Legislative District, which is in Monmouth County. Jersey Matters continues right after this. Still to come on Jersey Matters, will a good economy translate into a robust holiday shopping season? We'll find out when we come right back on Jersey Matters.